He just loves a bad boy. What can I say? <laughs> no, I think they just have a real, it's like a love at first sight kind of moment, you know, but I don't know. She, she's, she's, she's got something good with both of them. I think it kind of just comes down to the way the dice fall. I think, mm. you know, it could have gone either way. We wanted it to feel like that. Um, but in the end, you know, love, love conquers all. <laughs> I think she just, she loves him more as a friend, maybe. I think they have a lot in common. They're both orphans. They, you know, they talk, talk at length about these things. And I think she has a lot of empathy for him. And I think um, maybe he just seems maybe a little more lost to her. And I feel like Ian in this season, and he's confident and he knows himself. And we're seeing our best, our best Ian, I think. And I think she's really drawn, drawn to that. Well, I mean, he's got his hands full at the moment, really. He's uh, he's in the trenches, he's with Claire, doing a lot of um, medical sort of saving lives and, and doing the best that he can with that. So he's... Um, there's a war on. He's there's a war on, yeah. I mean, as much as he'd love, you know, a couple of dates, I think he's uh, I think he's a little bit busy at the it's moment. He's on the saving but, lives train. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe we'll uh, stay tuned and, and see if something comes up, I don't know. Just, well, what I learned was that I'm just very grateful that I wasn't alive in the 18th century and had to deal with that medicine. Um, but there's, it was just so amazing that the props department are so talented. Everything is so realistic, like almost too realistic sometimes. Um, but the bodies that you were working on and all the organs and the blood and we have an amazing doctor on the set called uh, Dr. Claire and she, funnily enough, I know, two Dr. Claire's. Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, but she's amazing, and she uh, talks you through it all. You know, cautery and and how deep an incision has to be, how firm you can be, like holding open an, an, an abdomen, and what when you're like searching through someone's organs, like what you're looking for, how much pressure you can apply. So it was really amazing um, to to learn all that, and I think I've got a little way to go until I'm on the same level as Katrina. But uh, I'm 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 doing my doing my best. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think just from being a Quaker, they always see men and women as equals. Um, and uh, I think that's really refreshing for, for Claire. She, we've, we've seen so much in the past her be, you know, dismissed um, by men, especially in the medical field, and, and they don't appreciate how brilliant she is. And I think it's amazing that, that in their first meeting between Denny and Claire, there is such a meeting of minds. There's this instant connection, this instant allyship, and they know that they're, they've got each other's backs and they can work together rather than against each other. Like Claire's constantly up against men and fighting against them. And so now she has someone, finally, she's got someone on her side, a man that, that sees her for the amazing woman that she is. She, because she's grown up in this like closed Quaker community, I think she doesn't know any different. And I think when she goes out into the world and she realizes that that's not kind of how it is generally, I think she's a little bit shocked by it. And I think, you know, she expects to be treated with respect. So when that doesn't happen, her fiery side will come out and she isn't taken, she isn't taken any back talk. Yeah. <laughs> she's, um, Rachel is very kind and empathetic and loyal and all these things, but I wouldn't cross her because she has some serious boundaries that she will put in place. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's a couple of moments in the season where you see her really being treated as a woman, as like a piece of meat, like, you know, and uh, like a token. Um, and it's interesting to see the way that she reacts to it, because I think that it's the violence and all these different things. It's just, it's, She's so in at the deep end, and I think that that was a really interesting thing to play with, is this kind of sense of equality that we had grown up with as Quakers and how that was kind of dashed when she went into the real world. Oh, definitely. definitely. I think it's very defining for both of our characters, yeah. the kind of constant push and pull between seeking peace and 
being literally at war. You know, we're surrounded by a lot of violence, a lot of violent people, a lot of violent things happen. And within that, trying to maintain your faith and being steadfast and devout, I think it was a really interesting duality to play with. And I also think with Rachel, um, she is discovering who she is as, as a young woman. And I think that, you know, sometimes being religious and being romantic don't go hand in hand. And I think that's also a struggle for her is like trying to reconcile her faith with everything that's going on. Yeah, and I think, you know, the the Quaker faith and the meeting is, is all that Denny and Rachel have ever known. It's their mm. family. So there's also the grieving for the loss of the community as well. And they're now out on their own. And whereas they would maybe have had that community to lean on, they, they don't have that anymore. But they are still very devout to their to their faith. We have sort of meetings, there's just the two of us. Yeah. Um, and uh, so they're very, it's very much defines who they are as characters and, and how they uh, navigate the world. But I think there's definitely moments where they both see that, you know, the world isn't black and white and maybe the faith isn't black and white and there are gray areas and, and how you um, respond to that. So I think, yes. you know, because we've lost our community and the phrases are very good at taking people in. And I think that, you know, we both have such interesting relationships with Claire specifically. And I think, I think she does feel for us. And I think she is kind of, we have, we do have a bond. And I think that, you know, Outlander is about choosing your family and finding new families. And I think that it's about like finding your people and keeping them close. And I think yeah. Claire and Jamie are very good at that. So yeah and i think they 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 see bits of themselves in us especially claire you know yeah. i think definitely recognizes herself in rachel and in denny and i think you know she becomes a mentor and a, and a, and a family member to both of us and i feel like we are taken under their wing and as and as much as in real life katrina and sam kind of took us under their wing as well and were just amazing to work with. So I think, you know, it translates both on and off screen. Well, so we didn't work with them initially. Um, we didn't kind of have any scenes with them up front. It was kind of us and then some other people. <laughs> yeah, other characters. Um, and then we kind of encountered them later on in the journey. So, um, but they were just, you know, they were like, how's it all going? We want to hear what your experience is like. Is there anything that we can help you with? Like yeah. any any grievances? You're like, no. Yeah. And they're like, okay, well, if you need anything, like come to us. Like they're very good at protecting their cars, protecting their crew. You know, they're, yeah. they're really passionate about it and they're great just like leaders on set and they really set the vibe and vibes are immaculate. So. Yeah, they are indeed. And like Izzy said, they just set such a wonderful tone on set and such a lovely community. and. Of course, like everyone is like so busy outside of the show, but we uh, we all went out for dinner for John Bell's birthday and Kat and Sam and yeah. everyone was there, David, Richard, Sophie, me, you, John and fun. Charles. And it was so fun just to all like spend the night just having just a drink and a laugh together. And it's been great. Yeah.